but it's something that you probably have heard about, and it's called a prime number. And the only reason that books really even talk about prime numbers is because they're kind of special numbers. A prime number is a whole number other than 0, the little line through it means 0, so you don't confuse it with the letter O, 0 and 1. Other than the number 0 and 1, uh, that is divisible by only the number 1 and itself. And every time you write the definition of a prime number, most people, their eyes cross and they just don't quite get it because it's kind of a complicating sounding thing. It's whole numbers other than 0 and 1 that is divisible by only 1 and itself. It just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense when you write it down, but, but you'll see why it's written this way. Let me give you an example of some prime numbers. The number 2 is a prime number. The reason it's prime is because the number 2 is only divisible by the number by the number one, uh, you know, um, when I say it's only divisible, I mean only divisible with no remainder. So you can only divide this number by the number one, because two divided by one is going to give you two, and you can divide it by the number two, which is itself. Two divided by two is one. You can't divide it by anything else. Two divided by three gives you a decimal. Two divided by ten gives you a decimal. Two divided by, you know, four gives you something else. You can only divide it by the number one and the number 2, which is itself. That makes it a prime number. Uh, the number 3. You can only divide this number by, um, actually let me go across here, the number 3. You can only divide it by the number 1 and the number 3. You can't divide this number by 2 because that would be 3 halves, that's a decimal. Um, you can't divide it by the number 5 because if you do, you're going to get a decimal answer. When we say it's divisible by, we mean divisible where you don't have any decimal left over. So 3 can only be divided by 1 and itself. 5 can only be divided by 5 and 1. 7 can only be divided by 7 and 1. 11 can only be divided by 11 and 1. 13 can only be divided by 13 and 1. 17 can only be divided by 17 and 1. 19 can only be divided by 19 and 1. 23 can only be divided by 23 and 1. And you could go on and on and you can get a computer to calculate all the prime numbers out as far as you want to go and that's fine. People do that. But just know that it's a, sort of an infinite series of numbers that have these special properties. Now let's look at something that's not prime. Just to kind of give you an example. Uh, 8, the number 8 is not prime. And the reason it's not prime is because, I'll just put because, B-E-C, uh, you can divide it by 2 and you can divide it by 4. You know, 8 divided by 2 gives you uh, 4 and 8 divided by 4 gives you 2. So those are two additional things besides the number 1 and the number 8 you can divide into there. And so it's not prime. The number 10 is not prime because you can divide the number 10 by 2 and you can also divide it by the number 5 evenly. Uh, one more example. The number 12 is not prime uh, because you can divide it by a whole lot of numbers. You can divide it by uh, 2, you can divide it by 3, you can divide it by 4, and you can divide it by 6. So you see, the higher up you go in the numbers, you're usually going to be able to divide by lots of, of different numbers that will divide evenly. But every number in this list, the only numbers you can divide into there is the number 1 and itself, which itself is the number itself. Okay. Now also notice that prime numbers exclude 0 and 1 from being prime by definition. That's just the definition of the prime number. So that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the types of numbers that we're going to learn in this section. Uh, let me draw a quick graphic because I think it's going to make things a little bit clearer. And then after that, we will work, uh, I guess, a couple of practice problems to kind of show us where we're going. So 